I'm going to do something a little out of the ordinary today, not really a thrifty AV thing. I'm going to do a YouTube analytics experiment. Last September, I slapped together a video with a temporary computer build using this ASRock B450M Pro 4. It wasn't really a thought out video. It was just footage that I chopped together. At first it didn't perform very well, but over time it's become my top performing video. It's getting between 200 and 300 views per day lately. I want to know what would happen if I unlisted that video for 48 hours. What's going to happen to my analytics? What's going to happen to my Google search results, my DuckDuckGo search results? So before I unlist, I want to go ahead and grab some data for the before and that way I can compare it to the after. I have an incognito search here and my video is listed fifth on a Google video search for ASRock B450M Pro 4. There are lots and lots of videos about this motherboard. Down here is another one that I did that's listed toward the bottom. Uh, now let's do a DuckDuckGo search. And there it is right there. My other video actually ranks a little higher than this one on DuckDuckGo. Now I want to go to YouTube. Okay, on the incognito YouTube search, it's showing up fifth. All right, now I want to look, I'm going to get out of the incognito mode and I want to grab some analytics. Here's September 19th, here, here's today. That spike right there is Christmas Day. Looking at my reach, my number one source is YouTube search with 66%. 28% external. I have a 14% click-through rate, which is extremely high on this. And the vast majority of my external traffic is Google search. The real-time activity shows 598 views in the last 48 hours. Almost 300 views a day for the last couple of days here. I'm looking at my channel analytics right now and I'm peaking just under 1500 views lately. This is pretty good growth over the last 28 days. Real time analytics for the last 48 hours, ASRock sitting right here on top with 601 views at this point in the last 48 hours. This is my top viewed video. but. It's not my top audience retention video. It's one of the worst with only 22% retention. And it has 70.8% likes, which means a large portion of the people clicking on it are thumbing it down. So not all the analytics on this video are great, which is one of the reasons I don't mind unlisting it for a little while. This thing was listed on two playlists, which means it could still be found on the public playlist even though it's unlisted. So I went ahead and removed it from those two playlists. It's now 1.50 a.m. All right, the video is now unlisted. It's past my bedtime. Time for me to go to bed. It's the next day and my YouTube analytics for yesterday are in. This page shows my uh, analytics for this particular video. Yesterday was April 15th and I got 328 views. Now I want to look at my channel analytics as well. My entire channel yesterday got 1,498 views. The real-time activity on this video has dropped significantly, but it has not dropped all the way to zero. I have three views on this video since I unlisted it, and I think I know why. The unlisted video has completely disappeared from Google video search, but it's still showing up on DuckDuckGo video search. It's still right there. So what that means is that if you're searching for an unlisted video, you might do better with DuckDuckGo than you will with Google. As I set up for my next shoot, I'm looking at my real-time analytics for the entire channel. 
Uh, here were my numbers yesterday, and here are my numbers for today, and these bar graphs are considerably lower than they were yesterday. I don't know if I can attribute all this to just the video that I unlisted or not. I won't be able to see the exact numbers until the analytics come out tomorrow, but it's pretty clear that I took a pretty big hit today. Today is Friday, April 17th. My analytics for yesterday are in and they did take a hit. On Wednesday, I had 1,522 views. On Thursday, I had 1,067 views. That's a loss of 445 views, which is about 30%. Okay, Wednesday, April 15th, I had 335 views. And aside from the spike at Christmas, that was my highest view count on that video. When I unlisted it, it dropped down to six views. So I lost 329 views on this video. Now with my channel losing 445 views and this video losing 329, it begs the question, what about those other 126 views? If you look at my day-to-day -day performance, 126 views is easily within the variance from day to day. Another explanation is that when someone clicks on one of your videos, they're often suggested another video. So one view can easily turn into two or more views. I had something else to say, but something weird just happened. I got a comment on this unlisted video. I wonder if I should ask them where they saw the video. Okay, I have a view here between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. I'm going to assume that was the person who just sent me the comment. In about 14 hours, all these views that happened before I unlisted are going to fall off my real-time activity. And I'm going to be very interested in knowing where my traffic is coming from on these views since I unlisted this video. A one day drop of 30% is pretty significant, but I'd like to point out that my view count of 1,067 is still higher than what I had a couple of weeks ago. April 1st, I had 1,038. So even though my views dropped, I wouldn't say that unlisting this video wrecked my channel. In the past day, my unlisted video has disappeared from DuckDuckGo video search. I also checked Bing, it's not there either, so it shouldn't be showing up on any web searches. It's just after 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, which puts it just after midnight Pacific Time, which is when YouTube changes days on their analytics. It's been just over 48 hours since I unlisted my top video. That video has gotten 13 views since it's been unlisted. 30.8%, which I believe is four views, is external. Four views from notifications, which might have been old notifications that weren't clicked on until it was unlisted. 23.1%, which I believe is three views, is direct or unknown. Here's the weird stuff, though. Browse features, one view. How do you get a browse when it's unlisted? And then other YouTube features, which is one view. It's now time to relist my videos. Okay, I am now changing the visibility on this video. So this video is now relisted. So I wanna see if it recovers from what I did to it over the last couple of days. The analytics are in for Friday, April 17th, the second day I had the ASRock vid unlisted and the numbers are up slightly to 1145, but still down from before I unlisted it. So there's a few big questions remaining. Did the stats on this video fully recover after I relisted it? View counts, watch time, etc. What about my channel in general? Did it recover afterwards? And what about search rankings of that vid on YouTube and Google? Are they back where they were? Well, this video is getting kind of long, so those questions will have to wait for later for a follow-up. 
If this video does good, you can bet I'm going to do a follow-up. Meanwhile, thank you for viewing. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.